Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. I hope all of you are doing well during the COVID-19 pandemic. I know I haven't uploaded uh, this entire month and that's primarily because of this epidemic and the way we have had to restructure because as you know, um, many people are now forced, forced to actually work from home. Some people are losing their jobs and uh, it's a, it really is a mess at the moment and I hope every one of you is doing fine. Uh, and yes, I am doing fine. Many of you have been sending me messages. I'm perfectly fine. As I said, I've just been restructuring. Um, so I hope all of you are doing fine. Uh, without any further ado, let's get to the topic of today's video. So uh, I get a lot of questions uh, regarding how to use the bug bounty toolkit efficiently. Now, one of the subset uh, or the, the questions I get as sort of a subset of the main question is, how do I run multiple tools simultaneously within Docker? Because as you know, you really don't get a graphical user interface, which means you can't really use a terminal emulator per se. And that's where the terminal multiplexer comes. All right, so uh, I currently have pushed the latest update uh, or the latest version of the image to the Docker Hub. So you can, if you're already running it, you can just pull the latest version where I've actually uh, installed or set up Tmux. All right, so for many of you who are Linux system administrators, you'll already be familiar with how useful or how good Tmux is in uh, in essentially managing complexity, and it's you know it's really helpful uh, for efficiency. It also allows you to to manage sessions in Linux, which is quite important. And I'll explain that in a few seconds. Now, this video is not going to be an in-depth video on how to use Tmux, but I'm simply going to be showing you how you can use it uh, in conjunction with the bug bounty toolkit, you know, for efficiency. All right, so. Uh, I just want to first of all explain the difference between a terminal emulator and a terminal multiplexer. And a really good post that explains this is one on the Stack Exchange Unix page, Unix and Linux page. So for example, let's just take a look at the, uh, the definitions here, all right? So a terminal emulator like Terminator, which I've covered on the channel before, uh, provides a standardized character-based interface for text mode applications. It emulates the behavior of real or idealized hardware. So, so something like Terminator that actually splits your windows uh, is really designed to work in a graphical user environment. Whereas a terminal multiplexer emulates several terminals and mixes their output and directs input in a way that's useful to the user. So the way Tmux does it, and that's the example we're gonna be using because it's the most used um, option available and it's extremely functional. Uh, very, very simple to learn as well. So the way it does it, it, it actually sorts out various sessions in the form of windows that actually run within one terminal window. All right, so that means it also works, uh, you know, in SSH. And that's why many system administrators love it is because it allows you to have multiple terminal sessions within one terminal window. All right, and you can then manage those sessions and those sessions are kept, uh, are actually persisted. So that means if you lose connection uh, through SSH, the process that you're running in that terminal session does not get, uh, it does not get halted. Uh, it still runs as uh, or within the Tmux session through which you can actually attach to that Tmux session when you reconnect. So you can detach and attach sessions, which is fantastic. And that'll make sense in a few seconds if you're not already familiar with Tmux. So as I said, Tmux al already comes pre-installed with the latest image. And let let's just get started without wasting any more time. So uh, the first thing I want to just check is uh, I want to check if I have the latest image. Yeah, there we are, the bug bounty toolkit. That is the latest image. So I'll just run, I'll say docker run, and I do not want to persist this session. So we will just say uh, hackersploit bug bounty toolkit, and I'll run this with bash. All right, so this is uh, the bug bounty toolkit. So again, if we just list the current working directory, we have the toolkit folder here. And we have all of the tools that you can use, you know, for your bug bounty assessments or whatever, or your web assessments. And uh, uh, again, the question is very simple. How do I use uh, all of these tools simultaneously? Or how do I use a group of these tools simultaneously? Which is a good question. So let's start off by typing in Tmux, all right? So when we start up Tmux, it'll give you this little green bar at the bottom here that sorts out your sessions in the form of tabs. That's a great way of looking at it uh, as opposed to thinking of it as session. So you have tab zero and tab zero is currently running bash, all right? And it highlights this with a little asterisk right over here. So that tells you that this is your current active tab that you're working in, 
All right, so before we actually continue, let me just open up screen key so you can see the key combinations that I'm typing in. So let's say I wanted to run a WordPress scan in this particular tab. So I would say WordPress scan, say URL, uh, my URL is going to be hsploit, uh, or we can just, let me just specify HTTPS, hsploit.com, and I hit enter, all right? And that is gonna run WordPress scan. Now, if I want to open up a new tab or a new window within the same terminal, all I need to do is type in control plus B and C, and that opens up a new a new window or a new uh, a new tab here. And you can see that right at the bottom. So on tab zero, we have WordPress scan running. Uh, and of course, it's a Ruby script. So it tells you that, you know, what interpreter is running. So we are now on tab one because it starts from tab zero, tab one, tab two, etc. And you can see it's currently highlighted by the asterisk right over here. So that means in this tab, we can run another uh, we can run another tool. But before we do that, let me just show you that it's actually still running the WordPress scan simultaneously as we speak. So to go back to a previous tab or to switch between tabs, we hit Control plus B and the numbering of the tab. So tab zero, you hit zero and it takes you to that particular tab. If I want to go back to tab one, I hit Control plus B plus one and that takes me to that, uh, to that tab uh, or to tab one. All right, so you can see that the WordPress scan has completed now in this uh, in this tab I let's say I wanted to run uh, GoBuster so we'll say GoBuster and this is directory brute forcing so we will then specify the URL HTTPS say hsploit.com and uh, we'll specify a simple word list here so the word lists are in the home directory so word list we have set list installed and then we want a discovery I believe do we have discovery and we say we want URLs. Uh, or we actually want web content and then URLs uh, like so and we want the WordPress URLs or what URLs do we have? Yeah, there we are. We have the WordPress URLs here and I'll just hit enter and you can see GoBuster begins. All right, so if I want to open up another tab, I can do that. So I can hit control plus B and C and that opens up a new tab right over here and I can run another tool like Wafwoof for example and I say hsploit.com uh, like so and that can run Waf Wolf again. I can open up a new tab and let's say I wanted to run the harvester uh, Let's see what tools we have there. We have the, the harvester uh, Sorry about that um, The harvester like so for some reason that doesn't work uh, uh, There we are that should work. All right, so uh, we had actually fixed that I remember so there we are that works uh, So I can specify the domain uh, say hsploit.com and uh, then the source is going to be Google. I don't want to limit the results and there we are. So it's going to, hopefully the screen key is really not bothering you guys. I thought it might well, be very helpful in demonstrating the keys that I'm using. So there we are. You can see I'm running multiple tabs and I can use all the tools simultaneously. Now, many of you have been asking me, how is this helpful? If you're running this on something like Ubuntu, which I am, this is stock Ubuntu. So I can op open up my proxy here. So I can open up Zap and you can see I, I only need my proxy installed, which most proxies like Burp and Zap, uh, you know, work on on different platforms, Windows, Mac or Linux. So you can run Docker on all of these platforms and you still have the toolkit available to you. So you can see I can run Zap and I have access to all my tools within uh, and I can you utilize them uh, with Tmux, right? So if I if I wanted to go back to my uh, to my WordPress results, I would go control B zero and that takes me back to my WordPress results I want to scroll uh, control B page up and then I can scroll using my my, my using my mouse wheel or a uh, page up and page down Right? It's very very simple if you want me to actually make a video covering how to use Tmux uh, in, in more detail I can do that and uh, I'll actually focus on detaching and attaching sessions. So again, it's very very simple to use uh, it becomes very, very intuitive after a while of using. So again, we can just hit Q and that uh, takes us back into the prompt here. So if I wanted to go back into uh, three here, uh, sorry, we don't have tab, um, I want to go control B three, there we are. Uh, so if I want to exit or close the tab, I just hit exit and that closes it as you can see right over here in the green tab here. Uh, so what I'll do now, let me just uh, PS AUX. Uh, well, we're actually still running Docker there. So what I can do is let me just exit here and that should uh, also close that one. There we are. All right. So we're back to tab zero or we're, yeah, we're back to tab uh, tab one now. Um, uh, so if I just clear this out, this was using GoBuster. Um, 
and uh, yeah so that's pretty much how to use tmux now the the whole idea behind tmux is that if you close this terminal window by mistake uh, you can recover it because tmux actually detaches from that so again if i open up the help menu here so it's like tmux help or i open up the man page so let me now open up a tab within my terminal so this is again on ubuntu now as you can see it's on my dev box so uh psaux sorry uh prep uh let me just uh kill screen key uh 9257 and that gets rid of that all right so now we can focus a little bit here so let me just clear that out so people man uh tmux all right and uh, you can see that this gives you all the, op the options that you know you, you you'll ever need here and as i said uh, it's very very simple to use i'll not be covering all of this right now i just want to cover the essentials uh so there we are so uh if i wanted to list the tmux session so it's a tmux session uh session list uh, for some reason that tells me uh we don't have a temp directory but again i'll be covering how to do this in its own video uh, for those of you asking how to use it, again, it's 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 very, very simple. And if I just hit exit, it then exits from Tmux. I'm still within the Docker container and I'm not using Tmux now. So that means I'm only working through one terminal session. So that's pretty awesome. I just wanted to show you guys that uh, because many of you are asking me how to utilize it to, you know, its maximum potential. Uh, so that's how you can do that. You can use multiple tools. Um, so again, I'll be posting the link to the repository in the description section and uh, also the link to the docker hub where you can actually pull the image and you can update uh, your version of the image if you have uh, one already or if you've never tried it out you can try it out let me know what you think i'm open to feedback and uh, that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching uh, stay safe and i'll be seeing you in the next video peace